Hi, welcome to part two. Um, okay, I've been all along one side of the saw, turned it around, and now I'm going back up the other side of the saw, finding these crosscut teeth. Um, it's a nice idea to have a bit of a, a rag available so you can just keep wiping off the, the iron filings and then reapplying a little bit of beeswax periodically just to keep the saw file working nicely. Um, Okay, I'm just going to finish off these last few teeth. Um, as before, we've got a little bit of slope, quite a bit of fleam, and we've got the top of the file uh, horizontal, so that's giving us a nice rake on the front leading edge of the teeth that we're filing. Every other tooth. Trying to keep the stroke identical every time. lightly on that last one. Right, quick dust off. Now I don't know Megan if you can get a, a nice close-up of the teeth. So you can see the tops of the teeth are leaning backwards or the, the leading edges are leaning backwards a little bit. Um, there's a, a sharp edge on the outside of alternate teeth and you can see that the gullet at the bottom is slightly angled which is going to give us that little bit more room for the sawdust to clear. Now the next thing we need to do is set the teeth which means leaning them out alternately a little bit either way. Now to do that we use a saw setting tool which is one of these. Um, this one's got a little glass um, magnifier which helps if you're a, bit, a little bit hard of seeing. Um, personally I prefer to use it without so we'll just lift the saw up a little bit in the vise to give us room to get the saw set in. And then oops, my rag. Then we just Work our way along the top of the saw, placing the saw between the, the hammer and the anvil of the set. Uh, if you can get in from above here, you can just about see what's going on there. I'm going to squeeze alternate teeth over. Just very gently, not too much. And then again, we're going to go all the way along the saw blade and then flip it around and come back and set along the other side as well. Once that's done, just to even up the set, We'll gently wipe a diamond stone or a diamond file down the side of the blade just to remove a fraction of that set and make sure that it's even all the way along the blade so that gives a nice smooth cut. <laughs> 